Every day, our body performs many tasks which we do not realize, such as breathing, moving, digestion, and many more. These happen thanks to phenomenal structures called organs, such as the brain, heart, or lungs. And in turn, each organ and part of our body is made up of many much smaller living creatures, which make it possible for us to live, called cells. We are going to get to know all about them. Welcome to the fun world for kids! Hello little friends! We are going to learn about what the cell is. The first thing you should know is that the cell is a structure with a life of its own, completely autonomous. That is, it does not need anything or anyone to live, and it is also microscopic, which means that we cannot see it with the naked eye. To be able to observe them and to study them, we must use a microscope. All living organisms in the world are made up of cells. In fact, living things can be unicellular if they only have one single cell, like this microscopic bacterium that lives in our stomach. Or they can be multicellular if they have millions of cells that cannot live in isolation. Each cell in this case performs a specific task and all work as a team to ensure that the organism survives like humans, plants, and animals. Small cells have the ability to perform some vital functions, such as nutrition and coordination. Movement, support and protection, and reproduction. Cells are made up of basic elements. Let's get to know the parts of the cell. The main ones are first the plasma membrane, second the cytoplasm and third the genetic material or DNA. Cell types. Cells can be of two types. Prokaryotic cells, which are characterized by being simpler and less complicated than eukaryotic cells, in addition they do not have a well-defined nucleus, which is where, guys, the genetic material or DNA is found, as fed by the cytoplasm. Most unicellular beings are made up of prokaryotic cells, such as bacteria or cyanobacteria. The eukaryotic cells, these are characterized by being larger than prokaryotics by having a nucleus defined by a membrane and by being more complex and specialized cells since they contain part of the evolution of living beings. Eukaryotic cells in turn can be animal and plant type and inside they are made up of organelles which are like little factories that help plant and animal cells to function properly. Wow, how interesting! Who would have thought it? All living beings are made of cells and despite being such small structures, they are the basic units of life. Like if you liked it! Thank you for watching our video. Did you like what you learned? Subscribe and find many more videos so you can learn while having fun. You can also watch this video in Spanish on our channel Mundo Divertido de Niños. The link is in the description. Lots of love. Bye-bye.